Hey, um, this is going to be a very quick video, but it's going to be about Russell Brand, the comedian, political activist, presenter. <clears throat> so, um, a while back I made a video, the video was entitled, Russell Brand is a Pratt. Now, I still stand by the general context of what I was saying in the video, but I'm going to amend that title after I upload this. Because so I think maybe I was slightly harsh. Maybe. Um, I've seen another angle to Russell Brand, and I think maybe I was slightly unfair. I still disagree with his views on on the issues mentioned in that video. But I've just seen another video um, from his show, presumably, whereby he invited two representatives of the notorious Westboro Baptist Church to discuss um, gay issues. They came on and they were coming up with the usual rhetoric. If, you, if you're familiar with the Westboro Baptist Church, you'll know what that's all about. They insisted they, they loved everyone there because it was their duty to inform sinners of their sin. Anyway, um, not only was this segment very funny, it also really exposed the utter stupidity of um, religious hardliners um, who really do take every single biblical passage uh, as literal. Um, there was a few witty moments from Mr. Brown himself when he said things like um, the Holy Spirit didn't have a pen. He was making the point that it was human beings that wrote the Bible. Um, but anyway, something struck me about this. Um, yes, he was taking the piss a little bit. Yes, um, obviously the crowd was very against those two guests for obvious reasons, because the two guests believe the rest of them are abominable perverts. But the point here is that the other side I've seen to Russell Brand is that this is a guy who I think really, really doesn't have malicious intent to anybody. Um, I do think he's a bit naive sometimes, and I do think that he he has certain views I don't agree with. But I will give Russell Brand respect for one thing. He shows more patience to people like that than I would. Um, I mean, towards the end, he was being a little bit daft about it, um, but it was funny. Um, the point is, uh, you know, he, he was saying, don't boo them, we're here to listen. Now, it takes a lot of, um, it really takes a lot of patience to express that sentiment to someone we have such extreme views. Um, Russell Brand himself isn't gay, but I know many of his friends are. So personally, I, I wouldn't be able to show that tolerance to the likes of the Westbrook Baptist Church. Um, I'd be much more likely to get into a very heated debate with them or not engage them at all. Um, so that, that's the only reason I'm uploading this video. I've seen another side of Russell Brand. Um, maybe not another side, but it's a side that I think I need to talk about. Um, I'm not saying it's the right approach for everyone, but I'll I'll give Russell Brand his credit. I don't I really don't think he's a bad person. I think he's he's a loving human being. I think he's motivated for the right reasons. I just think he's wrong and a little bit naive about a lot of his positions, especially on um, issues to do with foreign policy. Um, so I, I I'm not retracting the content of the last video but I'll, I'll amend the title i think calling him a brat a prat is a little bit because he's yeah i think he's motivated for the right reasons um i, I think this is someone you know i i always have some respect for someone who seems to be incapable of you know what i'm saying is uh it's difficult to dislike someone who is so amicable who is so, and the thing is, I don't think it's fake. I think he's sincere about it. Um, you know, it's not me. I I don't believe in uh, showing tolerance to the intolerable. But Russell Brand, you know, is incredibly skilled at reaching. Out. I mean, the very fact he got those people on the show in the first place says something. The very fact they agreed to appear. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Seeing Russell Brand in another light. 